Hi, yes, hello, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. So today, the green, the green, well, it's because if you've missed it, a new video has dropped on the second channel where I visit the oldest Irish pub in America. Okay, so be sure to go check that out, number one. Number two, the day is finally here. It is episode 13 and 14 of the first season, the only season, of Firefly. And some of you have enjoyed this journey for me. Some of you have hated this journey for me. And it do be like that sometimes, okay? Let's just be honest. It do be like that. Oh, man. I don't even know what these last two episodes could hold. We have so many questions about so many different people that there's absolutely no way, <laughs> there's just none, that we're going to get all, if any, of the answers that we need. So I'm just going to go ahead and mentally accept that. And for everybody who has asked, if you haven't found out or if you haven't just listened to a different intro, um, I will be watching the movie Serenity next Wednesday to put a nice little bow on the series, on Firefly in general. So I'm excited for that. 13 is called Heart of Gold. And then 14 is Objects in Space. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the only way to find out, it's like I want to watch these last two episodes in the movie, but if I watch the last two episodes in the movie, then it's over. And I don't know how I feel about it being over because I've really fallen in love with all the characters. So I don't know if, I don't know if I'm, I am emotionally prepared to say goodbye to everyone, especially if we don't get a nice little bow on everybody's story. The only way I can find out, no more diddle dallying. Oh my god, am I even fucking recording? I am. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the only way I can find out. No more diddle dallying. Let's get right on into today's final two episodes of Firefly. Shut up, whore. <laughs> what? I'm here for what's mine. Ain't nothing here belongs to you. Hey, what you looking for, then? Girl left this moon more than a month ago. It was you chased her off. <gasps> Are we getting a Nara's backstory? Petaline! No. We're not getting a Nara's backstory. Okay. And this baby ain't yours. So you keep saying. Oh, my God. Whoa, heavens! Oh, gross! I'll cut it out of you. Okay, you know what? Not excited about this episode. Not excited about it. Just quiet now. It'll all work out. Not the shag carpet in the hovercraft. Help? There's not a soul in this moon go up against Range Burgess. Then leave the moon. Hi. Don't scare a man with a gun. Sealable weapons always go to the far left of the place setting. <laughs> what smart asses. I love them. Folks asking for help. Well, it's for her. Oh. Really? This distress wouldn't happen to be taking place in someone's pants, would it? Malcolm, shut up. War. Yeah, manly. It sounds like something this crew can handle. I can't guarantee they'll handle it particularly well. But you have a doctor. They've got guns and brains at all. They've got guns. <laughs> I know they ordered you to shun me when I left. The house can get hotsa bidiosa. Oh, tell them, girl. Zufuni me me. And you. Can I have can I have a translation of that, please? I suppose you heard most of that. Oh. Only because I was eavesdropping. That'll do it. That'll do it. How are they fixed for payment? They're not companions. What are they? They're whores. What? I thought you didn't like that word. They're... Independent? Yes. Ah, independent companions. I've put a little aside. You can keep your money. Don't be needing no payment. Ah! Look at Mal doing something out of the kindness of his own heart. I feel it's important that we keep ours strictly a business arrangement. Was she talking? Did she just imply that she was going to pay him with sex? But then was like, strictly business. Must see the benefit in getting involved in strangers' troubles without an upfront price negotiated. 
I don't blame that reasoning. Don't know these folks, don't much care to. They're whores. I'm in. Jane! How come it looks like a frozen dinner pack? <laughs> well, any friend of Inara's is a strictly business-like relationship of mine. <laughs> Can I start getting sexed already? Jane! I wonder if they service girl folk at all. Let's not ask. You really lie with someone. Kaylee, get into paid it. Paid? Get into it, girl. Simon ain't gonna make his move. All right, well, uh, let's get your line down. <laughs> well, that's a plan. <laughs> oh my God. You know, maybe he'll be in a better mood after he gets some. One passage, and he took it out in trade off both of us. What? Watch, well, tell me I'm pretty. Were I on. You're pretty. Because I'm pretty? Because you're pretty. Because you're pretty. 50 50, not that it matters. The man ain't fit to raise a cactus plant. 50-50, that's a risk, though. Yeah, he sounds like a fun guy. I'd like to meet him. <laughs> no, Mel. Think you can stoop to being on my arm? Will you wash it first? <laughs> they love each other! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you really want to tap your gun? Ever had occasion to handle one of these, Mr. Reynolds? Oh, it's big boy. Unjust law is a small thing when it comes to protecting one's family. Ah, uh, what a way to put it, sir. She is a beauty. Of course, I was referring to the lady. Oh, boom, roasted. Yes. I want a cell phone like that immediately. Can we get off this rock just as fast as we can? He's not gonna help him? The DNA matches. Oh, no. Nothing worse than a monster thinks he's right with God. Mm, true. I said, we run. We, my people. She doesn't want to run. And I won't let any man take what's mine. I mean, if it's life and death, you know. Well, lady, I must say, you're my kind of stupid. <laughs> I think I can do something about our fortifications. Okay, all right, Shepard. Starting. Yeah, that it is, but time is on the enemy's side. Don't you tan? Oh, Rivermint starting like labor starting. Okay. Nobody panic. Everybody's gonna be okay. It'll be all right. Malcolm, you too. You too. You also don't panic. <laughs> yeah, ain't none of that. Ain't none of that for me. Ain't none of that for me. We've been discussing what we'd like said over us if we should happen to fall. No, don't think like that, girl. No one here's gonna die. There's people gonna die. <laughs> I shoot. I run out, you hand me the next biggest one, and so on. I like that plan. That's a good plan. Let's get to work. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I mean, I guess if you're about, you could die. Like, who cares? And I ain't so afraid of losing something that I ain't gonna try to have it. Oh, we got some marital problems. Beautiful baby. True, true, Zoe. Y'all would make a beautiful baby. This is my favorite. That's a good-looking gun. No, I mean, when are you planning to avail yourself of some of our trade? Oh, oh. You ain't looked at one of them as long or loving as you looked at those pistols. Well, he's distracted by somebody else. I trained as a companion, remember? I read people pretty well. What are you reading on Malcolm, then? Anara. Yeah, she's a cherry blossom, no deny. Yeah, she's wonderful. Did she ever tell you why she left Sanal? No, tell me. Had her eyes on it, too. Very focused. So what changed? It should be pretty quick, but don't try to force it. The contractions are still preliminary. What's he saying? It's a great question, girl. I don't know. Hurt. This turtle wants to be. River is me, and I am River. This would be the first. You? Okay. My first, too. Mine, too. First time for everything, and everyone, apparently. Who do you think is in there? <laughs> <laughs> a baby. So I trucked out to the border, learned to say ain't, came to find work. It ain't hard to use, girl. It really fits in any kind of sentence. And where's he at now? Let's just say he ain't playing the dulcimer anymore, either. <laughs> Let's just say that garden is really well fertilized. You are a remarkable woman. You don't mind my saying. Oh, y'all done had a few shots. <laughs> what about you? You better not. Am I getting any prettier? By the minute. You better not! You're gonna ruin everything you might possibly could have with Anara if you do this. Can you? 
What? Sleep. You better. Hmm. You better. Maybe I should get the shepherd. Well, I ain't sent yet. I've been waiting for you to kiss me since I showed you my guns. Ah! Is Anara gonna walk in? I'm just waiting to see if I pass out. Long story. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. How long has it been since your last confession? Don't say my child when you're about to sex. Lordy B, look at the sweat! This is going to shatter Anara. This is going to shatter her. So the horse got herself a champion, has she? This great man got a name? How do I move on to the next scene from this? I certainly wasn't expecting a battle. <laughs> so we got a mole in the house. She understands a horse place, don't she? Ooh. Or decency or family. And that's, and that's why you went to a whorehouse? Because you do understand those things? We will show them what their position yeah. in this town is. Hope you're proud of yourself, girl. Right here and now, what a woman is to a man. What is she? What is she then? What is she? Get on your knees. In front of everyone? We busted our nut, now we gotta bust some caps. Um. Well. Oh, I, awkward. Well, please. No, I, no, I, well, I, uh. Go ahead. I'm glad. Glad. Her heart is shattered. One of the virtues of not being puritanical about sex is not feeling embarrassed afterwards. Good for her. She's well worth taking advantage of. I sincerely hope you did. That's weird the way you put it. I wouldn't say I'm entirely okay. I'm a little appalled at her taste. <laughs> Damn. Da also, Malcolm, after you do the deed, it's a little too late to worry about Anara's feelings on the matter. <laughs> Lord, I'm gonna be able to give her a colonoscopy with how sure her dress is. <laughs> I told y'all she was heartbroken. And now I'm gonna cry about it. Come on, Kaylee. We all know I'm the funny one. <laughs> Wash. Ah! Oh yeah, I forget we're having a baby downstairs. I forgot about that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh! Andy, believe me, I'll be fine. Or stupid. <laughs> About her feelings for you? I really don't know. Mal, looks like we got some imminent She's violence. never been honest about her feelings with Mal. Neither of them have been honest about their feelings about each other. Gotta be 30 men out there. Confirm that, plus a mounted gun on that hovercraft. Okay, well that sucks. Look my sky a little less empty. Copy that, Mal. Oh shit! Oh shit! Nice. I like that plan. Good job. Smart. Jay, I do believe that's our first hurdle. Thank you, Mike. Oh, damn. Damn! Good mic, Captain. Jay's not a good guy, but he's a great shot. Oh, man. That girl's gonna run out there hoping to take shelter with the men, and they're gonna shoot her. Calling it right now. Oh, damn. Uh, under attack. You know what I didn't think about? Laser guns. Nice, nice. That's it, Penalty. One more push. Oh, yeah, we're giving birth to a whole ass baby while there's gunfire. Good job, Shepard. It looks like you lost visual because he just parked at the back door. Woohoo! Hey, hey, get him! Wash, what was your plan? Not a good one. <laughs> okay, maybe it was. I don't know his whole plan. Maybe it is a good plan. I don't know. Oh, oh, Got you! You now take a good way! 
So we just trapped them? Do we have a plan to neutralize them? And now you're stuck in the engine room. It's a boy. Healthy. Good morning, Petaline. Oh, shit! You should have took your gun with you, girl. Most of your men are either dead, dying, or run off. Oh, well, that don't matter, none. Okay, that close-up with him with the baby was very clearly a baby doll. And I can't unsee it. <laughs> you should have killed him anyway. <gasps> that sucks. Oh, this is a weird, weird little love triangle happening right now. Steal his horse and go! Steal his horse and go! Oh, you had a laser? That sucks. Where's the baby? Is it gonna crash in the hovercraft? Where's the baby? Huh? <laughs> Good job. Pedaline! You bring my baby out right now! Oh, oh yeah, the women took the baby from his arms. Say goodbye to your daddy, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Go on. Go on home. You go let him go? I mean, I guess if you take down the leader. You go with them. <gasps> Good for you calling her out. Is Anora going to stay back and lead the house? She better not. Okay, she's on Serenity. We're okay. Good. Shoo! I'm glad you were with her. Her last night. Ew. No. Hey, I wish I never met her. And I wouldn't have failed her. You didn't fail. Anora. Is it going to happen? I just feel I'm kind of truthsome right now. Life's just too damn short for ifs and maybes. I know, that's what I've been saying this whole time. There's something... Yeah? Yeah? Something I should have done a long while ago. What is that? What is that? And I'm sorry for both of us that it took me this long. To do what? I'm leaving. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Let's talk about it. Everything that happened and she's like, bye? No, girl, that's not how this works. What is it with these two? We get so close to them confessing their love. And then one of them backs off. We have one more episode of this. We have one more episode. What are we, what are we gonna do? He should not have slept with her. I knew it was a mistake. I told you it was a mistake and he did it and everybody's heartbroken. Now she's threatened on leaving him. Okay, all right. I'm just, now I'm just assuming now that we've opened another can of worms, we got the worm can with Zoe wanting a baby and Wash being like, no. Kaylee and Simon didn't really speak this episode. So that's still out in the, it's wherever. And then, uh, this whole thing with Anara and Malcolm, Jane is... And I mean, then we have the whole plot of the whole, you know, River being, uh, you know, worked on and surgeried and things. So, like, we didn't even talk about... Th what is this? We didn't even talk about that this, this episode, you know? So, like, we're not getting any answers in the next episode. I'm just gonna go ahead and accept that, and I'm just gonna have to prepare myself to watch Serenity as soon as possible. All right, so let's get on into episode 14 had her in that institution for a purpose whatever it was and they will want her back yeah i hope we find out what that purpose is soon you got my reward federal marshals don't move well now i'm assuming this recap last recap was a big focus on anara and then it became anara's story so we got the money was too good we're focusing on river and simon so i'm hoping for more information okay that was that was a bitchin intro just then the planet with the ship oh fine 
that was a fun intro. That was it. We were the elite. The world was ours, you know? <laughs> River, I would really appreciate it if you wouldn't interrupt them bonding, please. Picture me? What, naked? <laughs> Oh, well, hmm. yeah, she could. Yeah, that's that's going to be difficult. <laughs> a lot of foot things going on this episode at last. This is a morality <laughs> tale about the evils of Saki. <laughs> She's happy for her brother, and I love that. I would be there right now. <laughs> Whoa, River, what? Never. Well, no. What are we talking about here? Some orders allow shepherds to marry, but ah. a narrower path. He has dedicated his body to the Lord. I just direct my energy elsewhere. You mean like he masturbating? Focuses... <laughs> oh my God, Jane! I got stupid. The money was too good. I don't give half a hump if you're innocent or not. Oh, so she's... Is she paranoid or is she learning the truth from each person? Oh, I want to say the guy the is she paranoid yards. or is she learning the truth? You see what I'm asking? They gonna make a baby in the cockpit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, is she feeling what she's feeling? Because if so, that's interesting. You know, the only thing you're going to find in New Melbourne is fish and fish-related activities. So <laughs> Fish-related activities. So make up your mind. Oh, what's she going to... a big girl. Just tell me. See? What are we learning about people here? What are we learning about them? Stop yelling at her. That's going to make you worse. There should be one. Nothing to do with that. Put it down. It's a gun. Not mad. Just let me thank you. She understands. She doesn't comprehend. Mm. No touching guns, okay? Well, in her brain, she wasn't touching a gun. She was touching a stick. But I want a lot of medical jargon. I'll talk to a doctor. Um. You are talking to a doctor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could have been you she might have shot just then. The doctor, as you just made note of. And who exactly could fix you? Because the doctor, when the doctor's injured, what, who fixes the doctor? We're very much alone out here. Well, I don't like that attitude, Malcolm. You're not as alone as you think, buddy. You can't take the sky from me. And if that song is not in the movie, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, another fed or a bounty hunter. Little river just gets more The picture of the dog was an interesting touch. I hope she does the soup thing. It's always a hoot, and we don't all die from it. <laughs> Good point. Hell, I didn't even want her on the ship. Is that the direction you want this conversation to go in? Oh, 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 Just don't oh, want to take oh. a lashing for something I ain't the cause of. Well, you didn't even take a lashing for something that was caused by you, so... Remember her coming at me with a butcher's knife? Wacky fun. <laughs> but I don't think she'd harm anyone. Butcher's knife. Anyone we can't spare. I mean, <laughs> anyone we can't spare. Kaylee, you got something to say? What is Kaylee about to say? The shooting thing that she saw? So, like in outer space, could you use flippers like you do in the ocean to navigate, you think? Or. Okay, Kaylee. Why don't you speak your piece? I'm intrigued by this. The cat and then wash got took by Niska. So the shooting part. Closed her eyes. Killed him. Pew, pew, pew. She shot them? Mm? What? She killed him with mathematics. What else could it have been? <laughs> Jane, shut up. Nobody can shoot like that that's a person. River's still a person. River's still a person, she's just going through some stuff. I thought River was your friend. She is. But Simon, the way she... I mean, whatever works, girl. She smiled. Like nothing was wrong. Well, she had neutralized the target, so nothing was wrong. Could be she saved your life, Kaylee. That's how I felt when I watched that episode. I thought it was a game. Later on, you can explain to me how that's a comfort. 
I was gonna say, that doesn't make anybody feel better. In a question of whether we like her. Some of us grown attached to her. Kaylee, I know you. Mm, we got so many eavesdropping going on here. Are you saying she's a witch? Yes, Jane. <laughs> <laughs> she has had Congress with the beast. She's in Congress. <laughs> she's deeply intuitive. It's true that she's intuitive, Doctor. I think buoyant. she's a reader. A reader? Is that how we talk? Psychic? Yeah, I say clairvoyant. I don't. She? Yeah, she's a psychic. That's what I'm trying to say. That sounds like something out of science fiction. You live in a spaceship, dear. I was gonna say, Wash, look at your reality, buddy. Are you saying she really reads minds? Or near enough. Am I alone thinking along these lines? She's literally called the labor in the last episode. She's called a lot of stuff. I don't like the idea of someone hearing what I'm thinking. No one likes the idea of hearing what you're thinking. <laughs> if you even think. <laughs> she just wants to be a kid. Is she a kid? I was under the impression that she was like a young adult. Let's get some rest. Y'all still don't know somebody's on top of Serenity. Simon. I gotta go check on my assassin. Oh, please don't. don't be that way. She loves the ship. What about you? I thought the hospital was home. Don't take that ship personally, Kaylee. This ain't one of the times to throw you a little pity party. Isn't there anything about this place you're glad of? Didn't you just ask that at the cow circus place and he let you down? Good night. Gosh darn it, Shepard! We were having a moment. Good night. Don't let the space bugs bite. Ha <laughs> ha! Good recovery, Kaylee. I love that little door. I wish I had a little place like that that had that little door like that. That'd be fun. Yo, that's some badass boots, though. So your plan is to come in, tranquilize her, and then also silently get a, a body out by yourself? Oh. <laughs> Anybody else gonna hear this ruckus? Anybody? Oh, locking them all in. <gasps> Except Kaylee, because her door is open. Okay, okay. This jump scare's about to scare the shit out of me. <laughs> oh, fuck, he was so closer than I anticipated. You think you're all alone? Maybe I'll come down the chimney, Kaylee. You better stop it. Bring presents to the good girls and boys. Don't be weird. I am unsettled. You ever been raped? What? Your body is forfeit. I don't like it. I don't like this episode. Where does River sleep? So he did. He didn't do the thing that he asked about, right? He didn't do that, right? Oh Lord, the shepherd's gonna help somebody meet the Lord today. Oh shit! <laughs> Got my ass. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Shepherd ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> She's literally a psychic. She's been knowing that this guy was going to come. So she's going to take care of herself and prove that she is not a threat. Dr. Tam, why don't you sit yourself down? Y'all know each other? Rather die standing. Well, the intention is not for you to die. Okay, so I didn't know if Simon already knew the guy. Are you Alliance? Am I a lion? What? Alliance. I have a mighty roar. I said okay. Alliance. No, I was... That's weird. You heard him. Who's your sister? I don't know. What a weird thing. The plan is to take your sister, get the reward, which is substantial. Why are we having an existential crisis about a room? Then what are you? I'm a bounty hunter. And that's different from a bounty hunter? She grapple with any of the crew. Might be in their quarters. No. No, she's wholesome. I'm not gonna help you find her in any case. Okay, Simon kinda got some guns. Did y'all see that? I don't think my last act in this verse is gonna be betraying my sister. This is a crazy scene. 
and I go upstairs and spend some time violating a little mechanic I got trussed up in the engine room. Mm. She will die weeping if you cross me. I don't like this episode! This is an icky episode! And which part of your plan dictated the necessity of beating up a shepherd? That ain't a shepherd. Are you in the position to question his motives? Also, what do you mean that ain't a shepherd? Tortured her. A teenage girl. Not some bandit He doesn't care life. about her sob story. You ought to be shot. Or stabbed. Jesus Christ. But they don't make a surgeon get cut on. I hate this. Nice man wants to kidnap you. <laughs> a nice man wants to kidnap you. I fly is a good design. It is. It's a beautiful ship. People miss out on what's solid. Are you a body hunter or are you a philosopher? It's not your moment, Doctor. Is that the companion shuttle? Damn. Because I think you believe I will kill people if someone upsets my plan. Yeah, I believe you too, buddy. I know you're tired. Anara, not the time. Not the time, baby. Or your brother's brains will be flying every which way. You understand, I'm sort of on the clock here. It's frustrating. Yeah, you got a timeline to keep up. It's understandable. River's not on the ship. Is she in an intercom? So she melted. Melted away. What do you mean by melted away? Then who exactly are we talking to? You're talking to Serenity. Like, you understand you keep messing around, baby girl? Like, he's gonna shoot your brother. I need you to do something for me. Gotta be brave. Okay. Something sharp. Don't be scared. Where'd she go? A great question. That's some nonsensical crap. Ain't nobody can do that. I don't know. River be doing a whole bunch that I don't understand, my guy, so. <laughs> That's somewhat unsettling. <laughs> yes. May I call you Jubal? Ain't nobody calls me that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did. She's gone now. Not, not speaking on his dead mama. I only hurt people because they keep getting in the way of me finding you. And he's about to shoot your brother! What am I, your advocate? You are starting now. Oh, yep. Big fan of his. <laughs> he's really very gentle. Yeah, ap yeah. And happy. My sister's a ship. We had a complicated childhood. <laughs> she needs therapy. Then are you gonna come out and stop me from doing what I don't want to? You gonna be smart here, River? No, River. Only Serenity. Serenity? <laughs> There's a guy on board, and how come you're all of a sudden the ship? Great questions. Am I dreaming? We all are. Don't make faces. Oh! Oh! You know, with the exception of one deadly and unpredictable midget, this girl is the smallest cargo I've ever had to transport. <laughs> I kind of want to hear that other story, honestly. The midget. Arson. <laughs> Little man loved fire. Me too, honestly. Oh my god, I didn't breathe when he turned around like that. How do you know what this guy's gonna do? I'm very close to him. He doesn't even see it. She's a psychic, remember? You think I'm gonna leave her empty handed? I know it. Oh. Power. Control. Pain. Is River gonna be his therapist right now? She's relieved. I saw a darkness in you. Oh. You're not well. You'll be wanting to shut up now. I'm scared. A neighbor's pet. You did things to him. Oh my god. You're on my goddamn ship! <laughs> oh! It's very interesting. All these buttons. How'd you get in there through outer space? I'm putting it away. No, he's not. Oh. I'm putting it away. Because we're all reasonable people. Oh, the picture of the woman with the dog was his mom. Good job. I'm not 100%. Talk too much. <laughs> I'm going with you. Huh? River, what do you... Everyone could just go on without me and not have to worry. Oh, sad. Live simple. 
No secrets. I'll be fine. We just need more answers about you, that's all. Finally, something goes according to Hey, that's your chance! Oh, shit! Where? In the junk? It looked like it shot him in the balls. Oh, in the thigh. Close. Hang tight, darling. Early's on the move. So is everybody else. Jane slept through all the intercom, uh, intercom conversation. When you open the door to a spaceship, where does the oxygen in the ship go? I guess that's why you have an airlock pressurizing system. Some of us feel differently. I would love a little anti-gravity fight. Oh, you know what? I guess at anti-gravity, you don't have to fight. You just push somebody out into space. <laughs> Damn. Permission to come aboard? Aw, that's sweet. Give your brother a thrashing for messing up your plan. He takes so much looking after. <laughs> Shut up. To the left. Your left. No, thank you. No, thanks. No, thank you. More than the other thing. Can I mop your brow? I am at the ready with the fearsome brow mop. Mm, you're doing great, Wash. Okay, I'm just gonna pass out for a minute, but you're doing great. So now you just sew it up and he's good. How's your lip? Mm, kiss her. Damn it. <laughs> I can win this. Oh, well, I'm hearing a lot of talk there, genius. Come on, oh, she's show mathing. me what you got. Oh, oh, how you doing out there, buddy? Well, here I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about it. Well, I just need to go ahead and say that, you know what? If I were watching this in real time on Fox, number one, I would be very confused since they aired it out of order and y'all got people's backstory, like, I don't even understand why they did that. But like, not a good ending. Not not sufficient for me. So hold on, here's my question. I know the movie was made in, let's just find out. Let's find out together. Okay, so air date for final episode of Firefly. December 13th, 2002. Air date for Firefly movie Serenity. Wow, y'all had y'all had three years to wait on that. That big sucks. And I and I haven't uh, clearly in this moment haven't even watched the movie yet. So I just there's so many questions. There's so many questions that were not answered. That were simply not answered. And here is my thing. I have gotten so so many comments saying that I have been very mean to River. Here is the thing. If there were more moments like this episode where we realized and learned that like, oh, she uh, um, is, a if we had more confirmation this whole season, I have been like, oh, she can read minds. Oh, wait, she's telepathic. Oh, wait, she la la. If we had more glimpses into her brain, like we did with her being able to read people's true intentions and thoughts, you know, like we did. If we got more glimpses of what she was seeing when she was picking up random objects, like she picked up a stick and there were leaves, it turned out to be a gun. Maybe if we had more glimpses of that, she wouldn't have got on my nerves so bad. I understand that she was held, you know, against her will and operated on, and that is big sad. I wish they would, especially if they were just going to cancel it after one season and air the shit out of order, then maybe they should have sprinkled a little bit more of... You know, not give us her whole story in one episode, but maybe as the season went along, there's a lot of things that Fox could have done differently. I guess I'm just addressing the comments saying that I have been mean to River. If we had more insight on her, like, the amount of times that I thought Malcolm and Inara were gonna kiss and they never did, like, if we could have a little bit, if we could have had more of River like that throughout the season, then her character's actions probably wouldn't have got on my nerves so bad. We never got any kind of glimpse. It was just always her acting weird, which we learned was because of the surgery and the missing amygdala, right? 
we learned that in one episode if we just had more glimpses into her thought process. Okay. Anyways. Well, now I'm filming this on a Tuesday. My plan today was to watch these two episodes and Serenity all in one day, but I got a late start. And so now I have to wait to watch Serenity tomorrow. And I'm kind of big up Seti Spaghetti about it because and I need to watch it. I have to watch it immediately, as soon as possible. Also, you cannot tell me that they did not, unless it's answered in the movie, that I haven't watched yet. You cannot tell me that the shepherd wasn't a bad guy in a former time. Because why was he quoting the same book as old, old man bad guy from the other episodes? And then the bounty hunter go, he ain't no shepherd. Something is up with Shepard. And let me tell you something. In my last unboxing, no, I have not read this. Because y'all told me not to read it until after I watched the movie. All I know is if the movie doesn't answer this, if the movie doesn't answer Shepard for me, and neither does this comic book, swear to God, I am reaching out to Fox. And I am going to write a strongly worded tweet. <laughs> many questions and no answers so i hope you like subscribe and stick around because coming up this friday is going to be jay and silent bob strike back monday is goodwill hunting don't worry i watched them in the correct order so i would understand the references and jay and i talk about that on friday so and then next wednesday is going to be serenity and then the last friday in march is going to be clerks too. So that's what we got coming up april is my birth month i'm turning 30 this year and so um Patrons are still voting on the movies, but I will say for the month of April, it's all movies that I want to watch. Some of them older, some of them newer, some of them scary, some of them funny. And I'm just pulling that card because I can. So <laughs> I hope you like, subscribe, stick around, links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside the YouTube-averse. And I'll see you right back here on Friday. Bye!